there and did what? He won a game, and he ended up getting benched. All right, Hunter, the Cleveland Indians tweeted out, the 3-1 to one support group meets on Tuesdays for Atlanta Braves fans. Mm, yeah, we need it. The Indians, <laughs> the official Twitter feed. <laughs> and Hunter, here's the uh, artwork that went with it. It says, hello, my name is the Atlanta Braves, <laughs> and it's been one day since I blew a three three run lead. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Elena Braves. That's pretty good. I found some funny oh, ones. Man. Uh, let's see. That's still still sore, still tender. All right, now this one, Hunter. It, I just got to say it because it's hilarious. Um, and this has nothing to do with really sports, but I'll say one of this describe. I texted my friend last night after reading this, and I and and all I said was, "Have you been to Vegas?" Okay. Okay. So here was the tweet. Sometimes I think about the guy at my poker table in Vegas who was kicked out after the pit boss said he was too drunk. And in parentheses, high bar. <laughs> high bar. <laughs> Security came over, asked him to say the alphabet, starting with the letter M. Mm-hmm. His response was, Malphabet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, he was immediately escorted out of the room. <laughs> Say the alphabet, starting with the letter M. And he said, Malphabet. Malphabet. And Hunter, I've got a friend. I text him immediately. I said, is this you? <laughs> like, is this you? Because that is exactly... He has a tendency to let his alcohol get to him a little bit. Uh-huh. And yeah, that was... That's mm. him. Man. I could just... I, I mean, I when I read that, I heard it in my friend's voice. Saying, Malphabet. Malphabet. <laughs> just as it... And he would have said it angry, too. He's like, Malphabet. Just, just, oh, God. I can see him doing it. Oh, I, I text him. This is, this, is, this is you. <laughs> this is all you. All right, Hunter. Um, so, any other, no, no other NFL news and notes? No, it seemed NFL like I missed something while I was clicking on something. Uh, but that's okay. Um, Did you see, well, before I get over to, I want to do our, look over my college football poll again real quick. LSU to ban Odell Beckham over payments. I just came across. <laughs> well. Now, we've got some NBA news. Yeah, that was the one that I, I saw earlier, if it's the one I think you're going to say, the head coaching hiring. That one, but that, is not, that was my second thing. The first oh. thing was the Wolves don't know who the number one pick is. I don't think anybody does. <laughs> Would it be better for them to trade trade out then? If they can get something. Yeah. Don't somebody got two top ten picks? Atlanta or Boston? Like that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, and Van Gundy, that's the stand version, mm-hmm. has reached a deal to coach Zion Williamson. And then New Orleans Pelicans. I think that's great for Zion to get a good, experienced coach. I don't see what the, what was wrong with Alvin Gentry. I, I don't know what happened with that. Um, but uh, there's also rumors that Jeff may be going back to Houston. <laughs> that's what I, I don't know. Huh? I, I saw that one yesterday, too. That there's rumors that Jeff Van Gundy may be in discussions with to get back uh, to the Houston and you know Rockets. what? None of these teams have even picked up the phone and called Mark Jackson. I was going to say called you. I just don't <laughs> understand. Jackson's pretty decent. Um, Mark Jackson was building that Golden State team. He's not an analytic guy, I don't think. Oh and I think that's God. that's what that's what all the GMs Even Daryl Morey just stepped down from right. his position with the Rockets. So how much I is that analytics really that. working? Uh, I really do wonder what happened with that. I think that was a fault. That had to be a, some type of a... Falling out between ownership and him. There had to been some words, I think, said. Probably, it probably that, was not a clean break that that got out on that. Um, yeah, that just looked weird. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that when that happened. Let's see, because uh, I knew D'Antoni was. Mo- I knew he was going to move off D'Antoni, so I was like, oh, okay. Well, then Mar- Maury's just going to hire somebody that he thinks can take this team to the next level, and then Maury's like, you know what? I've had enough. Should Houston trade Westbrook, Harden, neither or both? Both. Blow it up. Just blow it up. Blow it up. Sister. Blow it up. See if you can get some picks. Blow it up and just start from scratch. You essentially are doing that now with a new GM and a new coach. If you're Chris Paul, do you want to be a Laker or a Clipper again without since Doc's not there? Well, he's going to want to be a Laker because he's playing with his banana banana boat buddy, it's, it's the just, LeBron. You know? I, it's just what I was wondering. Yeah, I think that would be it. Okay. Um... Did you do anything else NBA on that? If I was really Chris Paul, I would want to go play with Giannis in Milwaukee. I know, and I'm not saying anything about the city. I'm just saying, 
why would I go and play at a place where, like, when I was in Houston, James Harden is going to have the opportunity to bring the ball up. Yeah. LeBron James is going to be the point guard bringing the ball well, that's up. That's what I'm saying. Think about him going to the Clippers. I mean, does Kawhi bring it up every now and nah, then? Fuck Paul Kawhi, George? Man. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just <laughs> don't know. Do to me, that. like, you know good and well Giannis is not bringing the damn ball up the court. He's yeah. going to go sit in the block, post up somebody, and just absolutely abuse him. Well, rumors are the Knicks are interested in Westbrook. Um, Why? But, okay. Got, got to sell tickets to somebody for you something do. or somebody. You really do. Again, Hunter, that's the Cleveland Browns situation. Like, we're going to get mad year after year after year that some random rookie we pick ain't Michael Jordan, or are we going to actually make a move and get someone who can play? Mm-hmm. And I, West, well, think about Westbrook in the East. What is his numbers going to be? He's going to have stupid numbers. Triple double. And here's the thing. Even if, he, Every night. even if he gets the Knicks to an extra, what, 10 wins, that's competing for a playoff spot in the East. Right. I, mean, I was about to say, can, could, he, could him and anyone else that can score 20 not compete for a playoff spot in the East? Mm-hmm. So... That that's kind of what they're where they're looking at that. Um, I guess so. There's you an idea on that one. Um, before I get over to our college rankings, what I did on the rankings, Hunter, I went back and did the math on them and put everybody where they're supposed to be. So I updated that for you. Ah, so we can kind of talk about that. We decided, Andre and I, that while we think it's neat and cool to reward the champions mm-hmm. of the non-power five that the powers that be would never allow that 